Oh my god, Jerry ended up dumping Tammy on the season finale of Thousand Pound Sisters. Guys, the season finale of Thousand Pound Sisters was on not so long ago, and oh my god, it was an unbelievable end to an incredible season. So much stuff went down, like how, the, how Tammy was in the hospital for freaking two weeks, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to talk about in a couple of seconds. But first, we got to talk about what went down, because at the end of the episode, you know, Jerry was still coming around, a bunch of stuff was going on, and Tammy ended up admitting that Jerry did and the relationship and she was crying and she did not want to talk about it. So you're probably wondering, well, what happened? Because at the beginning of the episode and the episodes prior, they were, you know, looking all happy. Now, don't get me wrong, Jerry is a very bizarre guy. He's never made, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he knows what's going on half the time. He's not making much sense half of the time, but they seem like they were kind of happy, so we thought. But towards the end of this last episode, Jerry came back. He keeps on coming back. He keeps making that eight hour track and he came back. And that is when Tammy said, look, I'm I don't want you to be eating sweets around me. When you eat sweets around me, it makes me want to eat sweets. And she was like, you know, remember when you were baking a cake and you were making, you were eating your cake? She goes, well, I wanted some. And the worst thing was, she goes, and when you offered me like a piece or a plate of cake, you know, that's when it was really kind of tempting. And Jerry goes, well, you said no. And she goes, but still, it's tempting. She's freaking addicted to food. What do you think she's going to say? It's a cake. Of course she's going to want some cake. But it's like Jerry. So she called Jerry out because, look, Jerry is the reason she's gaining weight. It's not Chris. It's not Amy, it's not Ann, nothing, nothing, nothing. It is Jerry. She does not leave her house. She physically cannot leave her house without someone helping her. No one is giving her food besides Jerry. And so in this episode, Chris and Amy both sat down, Tammy, and said, look, you know, you're gaining a ton of weight because they did go to the doctor virtually and the doctor just, they, they did a weigh in and the doctor said, you gained 25 pounds. She was trying to lose weight and she ended up gaining 25 pounds. And that's when Chris just lost it because it's like, you're not trying. And the other thing too is it's not, the food is not coming from Chris. It's not coming from Amy. Who's it coming from? Obviously, Jerry. So she sat down Jerry. She told him what is up. She said, look, I need you to stop eating sweets around me. And then Jerry ended up talking to the cameras and the producers outside. And he goes, well, I still love my sweets, which is like, dude, if you even gave an ounce of a crap about Tammy, obviously he doesn't. But if you did give an ounce of a crap, you would just say, you know what? I'm here to help you. I want you to live. I want you to survive. And so I will stop eating my sweets. But what does he do? He still continues to eat them. So he leaves, and then we find out at the end of the episode that they did end their relationship, and it was 100% Jerry's idea because Tammy was devastated, and I've even heard other rumors that he did end it. And if you're wondering, okay, well, why? Number one, it was the sweets. I think he was really mad that he can't eat, you know, junk food around her, and I think he wants her to keep gaining weight, and she doesn't want to do that. So that was the first thing. And the second thing was... He is married. I think we all, we all kind of know at this point, Jerry is freaking married. And I heard from a bunch of news outlets, TMZ being one of them, that, you know, Jerry's wife had no idea he was in a relationship with Tammy. And she had no idea that he was going around all this crap. She had no idea until she saw it on TV, which is probably freaking true. And so then once that happened, I did hear that Jerry came out and said he felt bad that he was kind of running around when he still has a wife at home. And it's like, uh, yeah, so that is for sure. It was the food thing. And then it's the fact that the guy is still freaking married. So they are done. They are not together. And in present day, if you are wondering, no, 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 they are not back together. And I've even heard that Tammy was dating a woman now named Kane. However, this Kane, I don't know what kind of freaking name Kane is, but this Kane person was a catfish. She wasn't real. And the whole thing was fake. So Tammy, Jerry, they are done. And if you are wondering well, what else happened the rest of the episode, well, we got to see Tammy fight with COVID because she had it. It was a huge, I mean, it was terrifying. And when I first heard that she got it and survived. I was like, oh my God, that's un be believable, a literal gift from God. But then when I heard more of the details, what actually happened was she had shortness of breath, she was kind of getting sick, she went to the hospital, then she had to get rushed to a hospital in Indiana, she was there for two weeks, it was a complete disaster, she ended up getting pneumonia, and now she has like a breathing tube because she's just that overweight and that high risk and that sick. So she's not doing really well, she's honestly, I mean, she's probably, too, I, hate, I hate to say this, I really do love Tammy, but she's probably right there on her last leg, she's definitely not doing well. The good thing is, she lost weight when she was in the hospital. The bad thing is she ended up having a virtual doctor appointment with Chris because they are trying to see if they can get this weight loss procedure, both her and Chris, but they had to lose some weight before. And so Chris went on the scale. He also had, you know, COVID and whatnot. So he ended up not losing the 15 pounds he was supposed to lose, but he lost like, I think it was six or seven. So he had a couple pounds to go, but then Tammy got on the scale and she gained 25. Not, she didn't lose, she gained 25. And the worst thing was, 
It's like she was in the hospital for two weeks, and I don't know what they're feeding her in there, but more than likely, if it's a controlled environment, they're probably not giving her, you know, big things of cake every day. I'm sure, I'm sure they're probably giving her relatively healthy food. So maybe not, but I feel like that for the most part, they have to be smart enough to give her healthy food. Maybe she can order what she wants though, but she did end up gaining the weight and it's a shame. It's really just a bummer. So she was devastated. Chris, on the other hand, was all excited, but he was also mad at Tammy because he was like, girl, you are not even trying. And then that is when all the comments of Jerry and, you know, Jerry's giving you this food kind of got brought up. And then later on in the episode, uh, Chris and Amy, they all kind of got together with Tammy and they basically just sat her down. Mainly Chris. Amy was kind of quiet, but Chris, he was freaking going off on her and he just said, look, it's Jerry. He goes, I like the guy. I don't have anything wrong with the guy, but I do think that, you know, he's giving you food and he was kind of just like, look, if he's not helping you, he's hurting you and you got to tell him. And of course, and, you know, Tammy got all defensive and she got mad and it was just one string of events. But her and Chris, they really, you know, got upset at each other. But on a brighter note, Chris did end up going back to the doctor and he lost a freaking ton of weight so now he's gonna get the procedure and then that's also what kind of stemmed the fighting with Chris and Tammy. Obviously Tammy's jealous, she's sad, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, I would love to work with her. Not that I have any fit, I mean, I, I mean I'm in shape, but not that I have any really, you know, fitness, uh, you know, degree or anything, but I, I, I guarantee you guys, even though Tammy needs, uh, I think, you know, men, you know, some kind of other psychological help and I don't even know if a doctor could help, but I guarantee guarantee I could help her lose some freaking weight. But either way, Chris is going to get the procedure. He was happy. Amy was happy. Tammy was upset. She was mad. And then after Chris brought up the Jerry thing, which the Jerry thing is 100% true. Jerry is the one giving her the food. You know, that's not a, I have no doubt in my mind. That is the reality. That is what's going on. She can say it's not, but that's the truth. And it's like, you know, she can't leave the house. Who else is giving her food? It's not the producers. It's not Amy. It's not Chris. It is freaking Jerry. And I, I personally feel like Jerry wants to see her get bigger. I know that sounds weird and just wrong, but I feel like honestly, that's kind of his thing. Maybe not, but I don't know. Either way, Chris was happy. Tammy was freaking mad. Chris basically just left. He was so freaking mad after they were having their dinner. And then, you know, he did tell her though, hey, I, I don't mean this to be real. I mean this is because I love you and I want to see you survive. And he basically just said, I think you should go to somewhat of a, a home where they can kind of work with you and have nurses and then you can be in a controlled environment. Even though, I don't know how controlled it could be, but that was his advice. And so Tammy was freaking mad. She was crying. She was screaming. And then at the end of the episode, we saw that Tammy did say she was looking to go into a home. However, she found one, but it, she's just too big and they don't have the equipment to help suit her, which that's kind of... I don't know what that even really means, but I guess they can't help her, they can't do anything, which is, one, once again, it's like, okay, I guarantee if, you're, if we're looking within a pretty wide radius of Kentucky, Indiana, everywhere, there has to be a freaking home where they can, you know, where they can work people her size, for sure. But it's like, Tammy, she's so lazy. I don't get why, not, or not 90 fiance, but why, you know, a thousand pound scissors, why, why don't they work with her in getting her in a home, getting her in a fitness program? That's a show in itself. So it is freaking just annoying and um but yeah it's not looking good for her and basically amy even said it chris said it she's on her last leg and i think they, they basically said once you get bedridden once um you know tammy gets bedridden she can't get off her bed it's done it's over and she's just counting down the days so it's it's a sad thing to say kind of just horrible dark kind of a thing to talk about but that's the truth and for chris he's happy it's all sunshine and rainbows for him because he's gonna get the weight loss procedure he'll lose a ton of weight he'll probably keep it off because the guy actually has a bit of motivation and i wish him nothing but the best I think he's a very odd but funny guy he has to quit smoking he said which i sounds like he's going to. I don't know what the guy was doing, even smoking in the first place, but it sounds like he's going to, so I wish him the best. And for Amy, um, same thing. I mean, it's sunshine and rainbows for her, too. She's happy. I'm sure she's probably making some money from the TV show, so she's happy as heck about that. Um, Mike is doing well. Mike is a complete freaking weirdo, but they're happy together, apparently. And the babies just couldn't be cute. I mean, the baby is the cutest freaking thing in the whole world. And she's just happy. She wanted to have a baby. She wants to have another one. She's going to keep trying to lose weight, I hope. She definitely does. I don't I feel like she doesn't have the same amount of control as Chris. Maybe Chris just hides it better, but she really seems, not to go off the deep end like Tammy, but she definitely does kind of eat this, eat that, you know, but I think overall she can stick to a diet and I hope to God she can keep losing the weight. But same thing, if I ever do help, you know, Tammy lose weight, we can throw Amy, throw Chris in the mix too. It'd be a freaking blast. Amy has the cutest freaking family in the whole world. I wish her well. She loves that baby with all her heart. 
and that's pretty much it. Now, that was a season finale. You're probably wondering, are we going to have a season three? I have no idea. The one thing I will say is supposedly there was not going to be a season two. I don't know how true that, but I heard that there was probably not going to be a season two. Then after Amy got pregnant, they started doing a season two because then they had some pretty good content. Here's my thing, though. This show, people watch it. Everyone I know, even people that don't even watch reality TV, are watching Tammy, and they think it's freaking hilarious, and she is blowing up on social media, on YouTube, and TikTok mainly. So it's like, if they don't give her a show, I don't need to get too all, you know, analytical, but I'm just saying, if you look at the other shows like Sister Wives and the other TLC shows, People don't watch them like they watch Thousand Pound Sisters. People watch 90 Fiance on TLC and they watch Thousand Pound Sisters. So if they don't renew it for a season three, I would be shocked. I mean, I would just be freaking shocked. But, you know, we're going to see the weight loss procedure with Chris. That'll be some content. And, you know, we don't know what's going to happen to Tammy. And I hate to, say, I hate to go there, but I would not be shocked if she is not going to be around much longer. I've been on her TikTok. There, it looks like there's a possibility that she might have gotten into a home, but I think it's kind of a long shot because I can't really see where she's at. Like if she's in a nursing home or not, it, it could be. She definitely still has the breathing tubes, but it's not looking good for her. And um, yeah, I wish her well, but I think if she does not change something up here, nothing is going to change. So thousands Thousand Pound Sisters, I am just obsessed with the show. And once again, a great show comes my way, and the season's freaking done. So I, you know, just you know, if you can if you can cross your fingers for me and throw out some good vibes to TLC, maybe they'll renew this show pretty soon. We will have ourselves a season three. Well, guys, Thousand Pound Sisters, hit the comments below what y'all think. And I know I haven't really mentioned this formally yet, but we did hit a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is just like, oh my god. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. I just, it's a loss of words. I mean, it's so freaking cool. But I do want to say, so number one, thank you. I love you guys all so much. And if you haven't already subscribed, please scroll down, hit that subscribe or follow button. Whether you're on YouTube or on Facebook, it means the world to me. We all thank you all so much for watching this video. Now better stay tuned for many more.